Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me for another Circle Time video. Today was so yucky outside, so we weren't able to meet for our outdoor class, but I am so excited for Wednesday. It'll be warmer and the sun will be out and we should have a great day for outdoor school. All right, friends, let's get started on calendar, weather, then we'll talk about our letter of the week and we'll read a story. All right, my friends, what month are we in? Do you remember the month that we are still in? February, very good. And today's day of the week is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. And tomorrow, here's your clue. That's right, tomorrow will be Tuesday. Let's sing our days of the week song together. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then comes Saturday, days of the week. 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 All right, my friends, now I need you to count with me so we can figure out what today's date is. Count nice and loud with me, please. Not shouting, just counting loudly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Hmm, what number comes after twenty one? Is it four? Is it 32? It's 22. And what two numbers make up the number 22? If you said two and two, you would be right. Now let's put it all together. Today's day of the week is Monday. The month of the year is February. And today's date is the 22nd. Nice work, my friends. Now let's sing our weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All right, my friends, looking outside your window, what kind of weather do you have in your neighborhood? My neighborhood, our weather was a little bit of snow. And then that snow turned to rain. Yep, is this the same outside your window? Yeah? Yep, I can't wait until we have some more sunny days. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right, my friends, thank you for helping me with our calendar and our weather. Now, we're going to read our story, and our story has to do with our next letter of the week. Looking at the cover of the story, do you recognize this letter? And it's the little letter, not the big letter or the lowercase letter. G, that's right, letter G. Do you know what sound G makes? G, very good, G. All right, my friends. Now, this is your listening time. So I need everyone to give me five. And those five things to get you ready for listening are your eyes are watching, your ears are listening, your mouths are quiet, your hands are still, and your feet are still. I think everyone's ready to listen. Good work. Let's get started. My G book. Let's find out what our friend little G puts into her box. And remember, everything that little G puts in her box starts with what letter? That's right, letter G. Little G had a box. She said, I will fill my box. She opened the 
gate and went into the garden. Did you hear those two G sounds? G gate and G garden. Little G found goats in the garden. In you go, goats, she said. Then she found grass, lots of g green grass. She put some grass into her box, but the goats ate the grass. Then she found grapes, lots of grapes. She put the grapes into her box, but the goats ate the grapes too. What could little G do? She found a gorilla. She put the gorilla into her box. Did the goats eat the gorilla? <laughs> no. <laughs> the goats grinned. The gorilla grinned. Do you know what grinned means? Hmm. Look at their faces. Can you tell what a grin means? It means it's another word for smile. They grinned, they smiled. Little G found a guitar. She played the guitar. The goats danced with the gorilla. Everyone <laughs> giggled. Little G found glasses. She put glasses on the goats. Then she found goggles. She put goggles on the gorilla. Just then a goose and her gander walked by. What funny goats, what a funny gorilla, said the goose and gander. Little G caught them. I will put you in my box, she said. I will give you a gift, said the goose. She laid an egg made of gold. What a great gift, little G said. Little G looked around. What a great group of G's, she said. All right, friends, let's go over some of these G words from the story. I say, and you repeat after, guitar, golden egg, grapes, gander, goose, gorilla, grass, goggles, glasses, goats. And some more words with little g. Gum, glass, gumdrop, gull, like a seagull, goldfish, globe, grapefruit, ooh, ghost, grasshopper, glue, gloves, glider, and game. Good work, my friends. Thank you so much for being great listeners for our story. Now, let's go over our jobs for the week. So your activities for letter G week, you're going to trace and write big or uppercase G's and trace and write little or lowercase G's. And this page G is for gorilla. So just like always, I want you to trace and then fill up your line with as many uppercase G's as you can. And the same for lowercase G's. I want you to trace and then fill up your line with as many as you can. 
your craft for this week. You're going to turn this letter G into a goose. So you're going to color the big G and then you're going to cut out his feet and wings and beak and glue them on. Okay, you're going to turn that G into a goose. And then your number of the week this week, let's count the crabs to see what our number is. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your number of the week is number seven. So you are going to trace each of the sevens inside the big number seven and color the crabs and you may color them any color you like. It is up to you. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for listening to our story and listening and watching as I explained your activities for this week. We're gonna do a little movement to music and then I may do another read aloud for letter G. It's one of my favorite stories called Amazing Grace. All right, my friends, thank you for listening. Bye.